First woman Barbara Lee is a Democrat from California. She's a member of the House Appropriations Committee and immediate past chair of the Congressional Black Caucus. It's good to see you today, Congresswoman. Glad me, to be with you. Let me ask you, how can there be any resolution to this whole mess if lawmakers really are focused on short-term political pandering? They have got to stop um, focusing on short-term political pandering. And I think the Republicans uh, just have to get serious because they're about to take this economy over the brink. The president is negotiating in a fair way. He has indicated we have to have a comprehensive agreement to uh, raise the debt ceiling. And also, those that were responsible for this, this crisis uh, need to pay. Uh, you cannot allow Medicare to be cut, Social Security to be cut, low-income communities to be cut, the most vulnerable populations. We have to find revenue, and we have to find revenue from the tax cuts that the Bush economic policies allowed to take place. We have to go back to the drawing board and do that. There is no way we're going to solve this if we don't have revenue. And I think the president, I, I know the president gets it, and the Republicans need to get serious. But because the Republicans otherwise say on jobs, Congresswoman, that this really handcuffs the job creators. If you all of a sudden go in and and increase their taxes. That's basically how they paint uh, a repeal of the Bush era tax cuts. I know that the Congressional Black Caucus is very fond of jobs. In fact, you're kicking off this jobs initiative this summer, um, really pushing the president to address especially African American unemployment. Are you worried that hiking taxes on corporations would also handcuff those job creators as the Republicans call them? Listen, under the Bush economic policies for eight years, uh, the Bush administration um, really did not create any jobs. These are the same economic policies that the Republicans want us to continue with. We have got to go back to the drawing board. We're talking about billionaires. We're talking about millionaires who need to fa pay their fair share. When you look at the uh, unemployment rate in the African-American community, it's off the scale, over 16.5%, 16.1%. The national average, 9.2%, off the scale in the Latino community. Enough is enough. We have not seen one job creation initiative or proposal put forth by the Republicans. And so I think they're holding uh, this debt ceiling crisis in, as, a, as, as a hostage in terms of trying to game us. It's not fair, it's wrong, and the most vulnerable in our country will uh, stand to lose. And so we're on the brink of, of, I think, what could be a catastrophe. Everyone has acknowledged that. And so they need to get real. They need to get serious. They need to come to the table and look at revenue. When you look at the oil companies and the subsidies, when you look at the huge tax breaks that are provided uh, to the very, very wealthy, they need to pay their okay, fair so share. Let me and ask so about, in terms of paying forward, fair share. Are the Democrats willing to follow the president if his deal includes major cuts to entitlement programs like Medicare and Social Security? First, let me just say, uh, senior citizens did not cause this deficit. Medicare, Social Security did not cause us to be in this crisis. And so there is no way we're going to allow our senior citizens and the most vulnerable to be victims to this political So that's a no, you're not going to follow President th Obama? There is, there is no way I'm going to vote for any plan that cuts or dismantles Medicare or Social Security. That is not right. We're looking at some reasonable cuts that make sense. And uh, that's how we have to move forward. And we have to look at uh, some revenue. Con if we don't have revenue on the table, then uh, we cannot move forward. And we have to move forward because this could take us to the brink of what would be a catastrophe. It would hurt our nation's economy. It would hurt our senior citizens. It would hurt people in the military. It would hurt the entire country. Thank you so much for joining us and for sharing your perspective on the problem facing the nation. Appreciate that. Thank you.